name of Sheffield. For generations, the city has been Britain's and sometimes the world's steel capital. Metal produced here made the battleships which conquered the German Navy, the railways which opened up India, and the electrical turbines which brought power to the remotest parts of Africa. Today, the corridor of land in the east end of Sheffield, where it all happened, is a desert itself. In the last ten years, the number of people working in the steel industry in South Yorkshire has more than halved, from 54,000 to just 25,000. No fewer than eight steelworks have closed. Today's shutdown at Tinsley Park means another thousand jobs disappearing from Sheffield's traditional industry. Some people put the blame on a lack of investment, others on poor productivity. It's certain that a fall in demand has played a part. But one other thing is certain. Today's redundancies in Sheffield won't be the last. What happened with Tensley Park was that we were operating uh, free billet mills when two would do uh, on low shift levels. So all we're doing really is making better use of the facilities. That's the reason behind the Tensley Park closure. Now as far as job opportunities are concerned in the next 10 years, there will be a continuing loss of jobs due to technology and the way we operate them. Our productivity has got to keep pace with the rest of the world. Now that's nothing like as serious as, as taking major plants out, but it's going to be with us. We're not going to uh, um, employ a lot of people ever again in the basic industries. We're going to make the steel here in, in South Yorkshire perhaps, rather than on the road. We shall create the wealth here, which will create employment in the service industries around it. But we're never going to be the big employers of people like we used to be 20 years ago. There has been mismanagement, certainly in the steel industry now, for many, many years. We've had investment that was never required, and we've had, and then on the other hand, we've...